In the Autos or Adaptive platform, methods represent functions executed by a server on request of one or more clients. Client and server components are connected via service ports. Hi, I'm Philip from MathWorks, and in this video, I will show an example of method communication in Simulink, where we can model service ports and their methods using function ports, as well as function callers and Simulink functions. In this example, we've got a client component called sensor. This component gets some data via a required port and then filters that data via a method call to a service called filter via this function port. The function port resolves to a function caller block inside this subsystem. The function caller takes the raw data as an input and outputs the filtered data. This filtered data is sent as an event via the filtered data provided port. The mapping shows that the function port maps to a service port and a method based on the block configuration. Let's now simulate the method communication between a client and a server component. I've placed the client component inside a system model and connected it to a server component via this line. The server is a moving average filter. For a different use case, the server can be replaced by a different component implementing the same service interface. Let's look at the server model. The server is another adaptive Autosa software component providing the filter service via a function port that resolves to this simulating function. The arguments of this function match those on the function caller in the client component. For simulation, I am providing some example data via test harness, and I am triggering the client calls periodically with a 50 millisecond period. Let's now simulate. In blue, we can see the raw input data, a noisy sinoid wave. In orange, we can see this signal smoothed out as a result of the client-server communication between two adaptive software components via methods. I will now hand over to my colleague Casey to talk about generating C++ code and ARXML for adaptive Autosar software component models. Here we will show how to generate code from this adaptive Autosar application. As Philip explained, the purpose of this model is to receive a message containing a payload of raw data, extract the data from the message and filter it by making a client call to a server, and then send the filtered data back out in a message. Let's generate code for this model. Let's first take a look at the model class interface. Here we can see the step method, step 50 MS on line 57, which will contain the application logic. And the proxy interface representing the service provided by filter R port interface is on line 73. Now let's take a look at the implementation of the step 50 MS method. Here's the definition of the step 50 MS method. This method calls into the filter method provided by the filter R port service interface on line 48. The result of this server call is retrieved on line 52 with a blocking call to get result. The has value method of the result object instance is queried on line 56. If the server executed and returned a value successfully, this will return true. The filtered value will then re be retrieved on line 60. Now let's take a look at the generated ARXML. In the ARXML file, we see a service interface with name filter R port and a method that is a client server operation with name filter. Thank you, Casey. In summary, we've shown how to model and generate code for client server communication using methods in order to adapt. Thank you for watching.